day started out as the best day of my life. Back here tonight, first show's at 7. Yes! Woohoo! You know what that's gonna say? Joe Gardner! <laughs> I did it! I got the gig! Ah! Whoops. Tonight we are reviewing Soul. Soul is a 2020 American computer animated fantasy comedy drama produced by Pixar Animation Studios and released by Walt Disney Pictures. It was directed by Pete Docter and co-directed by Kemp Powers. This movie is for adults with a treasure trove of adult themes. The plot of the movie will go over the kids' heads, but the animation is amazing and they will definitely enjoy that. Soul features an incredible cast. Jamie Foxx as the main character, Joe Gardner, Felicia Rashad as Libba Gardner, Joe's mother, Tina Fey as 22, Graham Norton as Moonwind, Rachel House as Terry, Donnell Rollins as Dez, which is Joe's barber, Quest Love as Lamont Curley Baker, a drummer in Doretha Williams' band and a former student of Joe's, Alice Braga and Richard Ayoade as two of the soul counselors in The Great Before, who are all named Jerry. Angela Bassett is Doretha Williams, a respected jazz musician and saxophone player. The story follows a middle school music teacher named Joe Gardner who seeks to reunite his soul and his body after they are accidentally separated just before his big break as a jazz musician. His death was not necessarily an accident, that is if you feel that there is a plan and people are born into this world and die at their scheduled time. He did die, but he became what is often referred to as a lost soul because he refused to accept that it was his time to die. This theme is most notably depicted in the 1978 movie Heaven Can Wait with Warren Beatty, where the main character is in an accident and is sent to a waiting station before moving on to the next level, aka heaven. In this movie, he tries to convince his guides that he's not meant to be there. Mr. Pendleton, you know where you are, don't you? I want you to look at me and listen very carefully to what I'm saying. Yeah? This is not a dream. Are you trying to tell me? I'm not supposed to be here. But you are here. Well, you guys made a mistake. There is no mistake. Well, anybody can make a mistake. Same case here. Incidentally, both main characters in each movie are named Joe. Coincidence? I think not. Or the name Joe is a meaning to say an average man. Our Joe in the movie Soul feels that he died too young and that he needs to re-enter his body because he must become a great jazz artist. However, he learns it's not that simple. Unlike in the movie Heaven Can Wait, the Joe in Soul did die at his scheduled time. This movie is about coming to grips with the realities of his life journey and his relationships with his mother and with himself. It's also about the choices that we make that leads us to where we end up in life. Joe is like many of us who look around at our life and see nothing but failures and missed opportunities instead of realizing that our life is meaningful and touches so many others. We often learn this too late in life or possibly after death. That could be the purpose of each lifetime to experience, make choices, and ultimately learn from them so as to be a better contributor to the universe. There are many religions who believe in reincarnation. One in particular is Hinduism. According to the Hindu afterlife, death is not the end of a person's soul. Instead, it will keep coming back to life in a different form based on the intentions and actions of that soul during their life on earth. Hindus believe that the cycle of life and death is part of a journey that should ultimately lead to the soul's salvation and oneness with God. To achieve this salvation, the soul must rid itself of all of its selfishness and bad intentions. After enough cycles, a soul should reach ultimate salvation called moksha, where the soul unites with 
the one or the universe and is free of the life and death cycle. In the movie Soul, after Joe dies, we see him and many others in line to go into the infamous light. We don't get to see if this is heaven or just another way station where the soul has to reflect and it is decided whether or not you come back to earth or move forward. Joe runs from the light and goes to where new souls are born for the first time. Here he meets 22 like Catch-22, who does not want to go to Earth because she only sees the bad in being there. Joe sees the good, and this is where their journey begins together. The movie is amusing and very thought-provoking. Kids will love the animation and imagery, the quick, playful energy of the movie. Yet for adults, you will come away thinking about your own life and maybe even realizing that your life is richer than it currently seems. This is the major lesson of the story. No life is small and insignificant because even though you may not fulfill your so-called dreams, you do fulfill your purpose, which could be to inspire others to fulfill their purpose. Purpose and dreams are two completely different things as we learn in the movie. We all have a part to play and every part is as substantial as the other. Soul is an astounding movie. I feel one of the best that has been put out by Disney in a long time. It's a movie you may want to watch again and again to get the hidden messages inside of it. Kids will watch it now and as they grow watch it again and get more understanding from it. I highly recommend watching Soul and adding to your collection. Thank you so much for watching. How did you like the movie Soul? What lessons and messages did you deem from the movie? Did your kids like it? Thanks again for watching and please hit the subscribe button to get more insightful reviews on new, current, classic, and hidden gem movies.